Hey the Wootsuit family, it's Ryan here. Well, in my last video I talked about how I needed to make space and set intentions in order to take advantage of the holiday season. Now that the holidays are basically over, it's time for me to put my life back together. Jim has talked about it before, these liminal transitions that we encounter, especially around the changing of the seasons, or birthdays, or holidays and New Year's. It's that time when mentally we can shift our focus from one thing to the next, and we can change our intentions, change our priorities. It's the perfect opportunity to start to reinvent ourselves. New Year's is often thought about this way, that it's the going out of one year and the start of the next. And even though the calendar changes and it's only one day to the next, there's something that psychologically happens that allows us to unlock this potential. In my last video, I talked about setting intentions around the holiday season, about creating space for a house or creating space for certain kind of feelings. But now that the holiday's over, it's time for me to get to work and tending to all those things that I've been neglecting over the last week. Everything from the wall of emails that have come in in the last week to the messy office, as you saw in my thumbnail. Yeah, especially the office. It became the dumping ground for all the things that didn't belong anywhere else in the living room. Yeah, I've got a lot of cleaning to do. And so as 2019 as a chapter comes to a close, and with my final video of the year, I want to remind myself that for as much as I talk about productivity or getting things done or any of the other buzzwords that come around what my conception of staying awesome is, it's also important to remind myself that for as much as you should bias yourself towards action, it's also important to stop and reflect and take time to set yourself in order, to clean your room, to make space for you to just sit in the peace and the quiet that comes with this time of year, with this liminal transition. Because sometimes you get so focused on progress and trying to keep moving forward that you don't really stop and ask yourself, am I heading in the right direction? Do I know where I am? Is this what I still want to be doing? And that's why this time of year is so great because it forces that upon ourselves. We, as we look back to the year that was, we can start to set intentions for the year to come. Thanks for stopping by and for another great year here on the Wootsu channel. And I'm looking forward to see what 2020 has to offer. Don't forget, stay awesome.